Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a beautiful, inspired day this morning, and you play a big part. So keep connected. We're going to have a little bit of fun now with someone we love. We love her passion for food. That's a zest to experiment in the kitchen while keeping it simple, um, relatable for all of us, and remaining true to her signature style. Food comes to life, undoubtedly, at Jenny Morris's magic touch. And her culinary skills really do know no bounds. We have tested that on our show. It truly is her labor of love. Take a look. Sasco, baking together since 1930. The beginning of my cooking school is just that it's a strange story. I used to do a couple of the uh, food shows and people would say to me, oh, we'd love to come to your cooking school um, to do some cooking courses with you. And of course, I never had one. My husband, David, had to hear this just a, a one time too many. In his head, he decided that I should have a cooking school. So I was in Thailand um, taking a group of ladies. I take food tours and I got an SMS saying, your first cooking class begins on Monday at such and such a time. And I was like, what are you talking about? So it all started with hiring a kitchen. I'm Jenny Morris. I'm a celebrity chef in Cape Town. It just became so successful that we started to look for premises. Well, I've been a, a tenant at the Cape Quarter um, with my cooking school ever since. It's called the Cook's Playground. It's very successful. What I love about the Cook's Playground and, and having this cooking school, and I thank my husband for this every single day, because it allows me to, to live my passion. You know, the story behind me starting my own business is that I used to cook for friends. And then, you know, you cook for a friend who has a friend who tastes what you do and likes what you do and it becomes another friend and another friend. And my family supported me and said, you know what, you should take this passion you have and the skills that you have and turn it into a business. You know, challenges, I think, are there to teach you something. I think there are lots of lessons to be learned. When I started my business, I started cooking from home. What it taught me was that have confidence in yourself. Your business has grown. Take the leap. Jump out there, pay the rents, and just do this thing. And that's my advice to anybody out there. You'll reach a point where you just know that this is meant for you. Go take that and turn it into something positive. And well, in my kitchen, look, I'm in a bigger kitchen today. <laughs> I've had a very long relationship with Sasco. Not only do I use it, um, in my business, but I have always used it in my home. So when you work with a product that you can trust and it delivers the goods and it ticks all the boxes, it's a love affair actually. I like it, I trust it, and it works for me. You can buy bread, but you can spoil your family with a beautiful loaf of freshly baked bread and it's one of the most intimidating things. And I can tell you that categorically from the people that come here, they are just so frightened um, to get their hands into the flour and into the dough. But once they start, they never, ever stop. A question people always ask is, what was the worst experience you've ever had? I was doing a demonstration to 100 ladies and we were doing a Christmas in Africa. And I thought, I'm not gonna make a fruit cake, I'm gonna make a carrot cake. So I got them all banging things into the bowl and whisking and whatever, whatever. And they were saying, but when are you gonna take the cake out? And I looked in the oven and I thought, why is this cake not rising? And I realized I'd left the flour out. But every problem has a solution. It became the most delicious carrot and coconut halva you've ever tasted. <laughs> if you have a passion for food, then you definitely need to be in this industry. But if you just want the fame, it doesn't come with a lot of fortune. <laughs> um, it comes with a lot of commitment, a lot of blood, sweat and tears, literally. <laughs> you cut yourself, you cry, you have aching backs, you have aching bodies, but if you love what you do, every single dish that you put out there makes it worth it. So if you do love what you do, I say join us and come cooking. Sasco, baking together since 1930.